fellow fishing fanatics. I hope you're doing well. This is Michael Guevara, the fishing fanatic. And I know it's been a long time since my last video. Things have just been crazy. And of course, here in Texas, we've had this severe drought going on for several months. And thankfully, yesterday, we finally had our first good rain. Um, but when you're over two feet short of water, uh, that's pretty significant. But anyway, I wanted to make this video today specifically to address a couple of questions that I've had. And these questions in regards to how I rig certain lures. So today's video is just going to be a very basic video. How I rig certain type of lures. And one of them is a um, uh, worm, uh, about a three inch worm. And the other one is our little gulp alive minnows. I've been asked how, to, how I personally rig these. Again, this is going to just be how I do it. But uh, hopefully it can help you out and maybe give you some ideas of how to be creative and rig things on your end. So without further ado, let me go ahead and pause this while I get over and start showing you how I do it. Thanks again. Okay, everybody, here we are. And as you can see, I've got the products out here in front of me. Uh, one of them is the Gulp Alive. This particular one is the one inch minnow. Uh, and I've gotten a lot of requests about how I uh, put that on the hook and I'm going to show that today. And sadly I had run out of the three inch um, fry by uh, Gulp, uh, which is basically a worm that looks like this one, but just about half the size. So just pretend when I rig this one that it's actually the three inch one. Um, and the rigging uh, process is exactly the same. But as you can see here, talking about the Gulp Alive product first over here, the uh, one inch minnow, I typically use something, um, this particular hook here I believe is called an octopus hook, probably about a size 10, but I try to find as small as I can because with this product I'm primarily going after panfish. So uh, try to find as small a hook as you can uh, possibly find. They're easily strong enough to land any size panfish you'll catch, believe me. Uh, and they're very sharp and they're easy to remove from the fish too. But the way I rig this is I'll take this little hook and here again you can see what that one inch minnow looks like right there compared to the hook itself. You can see that the size is, is um, about half of that little minnow. But to rig this, there's a couple of ways that I do that. One of the easiest ways that I do is to simply just go from side to side and I'll try to rig it right behind where there's a little gill pattern in the plastic and just go right through it to the other side and just right through there. And as it's pulled in the water, you know, that the little action will be this way. So it kind of gives it somewhat of a lifelike appearance. Well, that has proven to be very effective. And I've tried various combinations of that sometimes, uh, assuming that, if anything, the weight uh, of the hook might allow it to fall this way in the water. Sometimes I will rig from the bottom of the plastic bait here up to the top or something along this manner. Just kind of go through the bottom near the head, the front part, and try to come right back out through the top, something like what you see right there. So that is another way that I end up um, rigging this particular little one inch minnow. And again, this has been a very effective uh, bait for going after uh, little panfish. And the last way that I used to do when I had a little bit different hook, and I don't have that hook right now, it's a number 10 nymph fly hook, what I would basically thread it on there, and I'm going to attempt to do that here, it's not going to look exactly like it would, but basically I would go and just thread the plastic lure onto the hook so that it comes out something like that again, it's not perfect uh, by any means, and it's kind of hard to do because I'm looking at a little monitor as I do this but kind of thread it through there that way. And of course I'd be a little bit more precise and careful uh, to make it more of an in straight line uh, presentation, but that I would thread it that way as well. So all those three ways are the ways that I rig the one inch um, minnow. So putting that to the side, again, pretend this is a three inch uh, fry that I've uh, had a lot of success with. 
and the rigging is, is very simple on a three inch uh, fry I'll use about a one aught size uh, worm hook right here and then I'll just basically rig it like I would any other worm just kind of stick it right through the top through little ways let it come through pull it out to that little bend then kind of measure about where you need to stick the hook through try to go right through it and as it comes out through the other side then what I try to do just pull it a little bit there just so that you can just bury the tip of the hook in there to make it more weedless and then that little pattern that little hooking way right there works very well again um, the three inch fryer would typically end about where my fingers are right here and would be much more narrower but that little can, um, way to put it all together works very well so in essence that's the way that I rig all these different um, lures the, th the three inch fry this is the only way I do it this way right here now whether I have a little uh, weight on the front or not that'll vary depending upon where I'm fishing but putting it on the hook this is it just like that I don't change it on the three inch at all and again there's the different ways that I do the little um, one inch minnow and again the most popular way is I'll just go ahead and just rig it through the head and I normally just try to make it quick and simple just go right through from side to side so that it comes out being like that and you can kind of see how the hook goes through the side from one side of the gill pattern to the other side of the gill pattern and I've had very good success rigging it that way so I hope that's answered your questions for those of you that have uh, asked about how I rig it um, go ahead give it a try let me know how it works out for you again thanks for watching the channel you guys have a great day I really appreciate you watching goodbye